Hello everyone. I just wanted to take a brief moment to discuss a little bit about the extension available from Autodesk Labs called Bridge Modeler for Civil 3D. What we're seeing on the screen is a both 2D and 3D representation of a corridor. Uh, the plan view on the left uh, is going over a small channel. The view on the right is in realistic mode. So we see the corridor leading up to a bridge and a box girder bridge subassembly is being utilized across the channel itself and then the corridor continues. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that box girder assembly over the channel with a more realistic bridge as provided by the bridge modeler tool. So to do that, just for the sake of clarity, what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the surface and I'm going to hide that. So just coming down here to the little light bulb and choose hide object so the surface goes away uh, momentarily and we'll have a little bit more uh, understanding what's going on here. So I'll just back up just a touch perhaps on this one. Okay, so we're ready to proceed. So from the Home tab, we see we have a series of tabs. The, ex the lab, once it gets installed, introduces the Bridge Modeler tab and we see three distinct types of bridges that can be utilized. So we'll go ahead and choose the Bridge Definition Concrete Box Girder and once we initiate it, we'll, it'll get the process rolling here. And we get the corridor definition from, so which corridor? We're going to use the Rockview proposed corridor, which happened to be uh, this corridor versus the creek. And then baseline is uh, going to be the alignment, basically, that it's going to be utilizing. And which region? This happens to be this particular region here. So we'll specify the region. And then the terrain profile is going to be the proposed with bridge, that's the profile that we'll be utilizing for the bridge, and we'll go ahead and choose OK. In the next screen, we'll see that um, we can account for the bridge layout, so we see where particular components will be. In this case, the abutment number one, abutment number two, any piers that will be utilized as part of the process. So we can make arrangements or eliminate some of those. So we can say, let's remove that particular pier. We can see that it's gone from the both the diagram and from the table. And we'll proceed down to the decks. And this is where we can specify the geometry of the deck. We can see the thickness of the deck, the al alignment offset uh, to the left, to the right, etc. Overhang, and we see particular values here. So, as we were, to, if we were to change any of these, um, we could get an understanding of what those are. And then we can go to the roadway, and what is happening on the roadway. We see the thickness of the roadway offset to the alignment. We have barriers. What are the barriers going to look like? We have the, the ability to change the height and the width, the horizontal offset, vertical offset, etc. And then we can come back to the abutments. What's happening with the abutments? And the height and width of these. So we have some default values. And ultimately we come down here to the piers which we didn't specify any peers, and then the bearings, the bearing pads themselves. So there's some default values in here that we can modify. And once we choose OK, it'll begin to construct the bridge. And the particular segment of the corridor is still currently present there. But we'll go ahead and touch the corridor and we'll make some adjustments on it. So as we go to the corridor properties, I'm going to first remove that span that was in the segment that we're replacing, which was happened to be that one there. We'll go ahead and choose OK. And the corridor region, we'll see, we're going to make some adjustments here to get a little bit tighter to the bridge that was built. And we'll bring this in here right to approximately there. Likewise here. 
And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the profile view and we're going to choose to project objects into the profile view. Select the objects to project in the profile view. We'll come over here to this window here and grab those items and we'll hit a return. We have some control over the style of those objects, but in this case, because they're solids, we'll just go ahead and choose OK. And we'll see that the bridge it was, in fact, projected up into the profile view.